Hey folks, Chris here with Jarvis Outdoors. Out in the shop today, uh, wanted to do a part two on cleaning your Yeti lids. Um, if you saw my first video, uh, I had a good response with that, and but I had a lot of questions and comments uh, asking about cleaning this slide style uh, lid from Yeti. Um, they introduced this lid a couple years ago and they call this their mag slider lid. Uh, it's great. Um, it, uh, it helps keep the beverages uh, hotter and colder longer uh, without you know temperatures escaping. Um, Yeti says this, this um, lid is splash proof. They don't say it's spill proof. But if you check out some videos on YouTube, there's a few guys out there that fill them up, turn, uh, you know, close the lids, turn them over, and nothing comes out. Um, I don't know that I would want to try that in anywhere uh, uh, that you know <laughs> you're worried about getting any stains or anything on or, or creating a mess. But uh, it's good to know, especially you know it gets knocked over and you're quickly going to pick it up. You won't lose much liquid. So the way to clean this lid is very similar to the other uh, uh, Yeti style lids. Um, and I just do that with warm soapy water and a paper towel. Now the one difference with this is, is you can take this magnet off pretty easily. Yeti has embedded a magnet in, uh, in the lid and then this is also a magnet. And it just goes on in there and you take it, uh, move it back and forth and you can take it off real easy for cleaning. So they recommend that you can put this in the dishwasher as well. Um, this one, uh, like my other cups that if you saw the other video has never been in the dishwasher. Uh, it might just be my personal uh, thing there, but uh, it works pretty well. Um, just with the warm soapy water, I don't have any buildup. And uh, the one thing Yeti has done a little different, typically you see a vent hole up here at the top in, in these style lids, but Yeti has put the vent holes down here next to the magnet. And then if you can see, on each side of the slide, of the mag slide, is a, uh, is a little hole that lines up. Now that lines up when the when the uh, slide is back in the open position. When you close it, the holes are covered. Now I'm not sure how this would uh, uh, work uh, with carbonated beverages, but it's not completely airtight, so uh, I think it'll be okay. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it'll be okay. So, uh, and as far as this one's nice and tight, it's pretty new. As far as the gasket, it's the same operation. I'll show you again. Uh, just in case you didn't see the first video, but I'll put a link to the first video in the description below. So just get something that's not sharp. Uh, I use a butter knife and peel it off out of there. It comes out easily. So pay attention when you take it out. If you can see, sorry, if you can see part of this, the upper part, um, the ridge or, or part of the gasket is higher than the lower part. So uh, there you go, you should be able to see it. And that is the top. So you want to put the, the higher part on the top of the groove, and that helps create the seal because the inside of the cup is tapered. So that helps create a better seal. So same way, just get in there with a, uh, I get in there with a paper towel, get the grime out, the build up, make sure it's all good and clean. Now, once again, this lid is cleaned on a regular basis. Now it's not used quite as often as my uh, my coffee cup, my 20 ounce, because this is the 30 ounce tumbler. Um, but there you go. It's cleaned on a regular basis and there's more buildup. Stuff that you don't want in your body. So then what I do is I move to a dry paper towel again, dry it out real good, make sure I got everything out. And then I'll do it one more time to make sure it's all out. And there's still a little bit in there. But once I got the, the major buildup out, that's when I move to the um, warm soapy water. And then what I recommend is once it's all clean, and you can get underneath here as well, clean this all out. See, nothing on that, and that's clean. Um, once you uh, get that clean, and you can hit it with the so warm soapy water, do the same thing with the gasket. Uh, run it through the wet paper towel, get all the buildup off, 
then dry it. So, and then, like I said, then once I, I know I got the build up off, then I'll hit it with the warm soapy water. And uh, then I just leave all the parts apart and let it air dry before I put it all back together. So, um, that's the, uh, the best way I have found to do it. It's guaranteed it's clean. Like I said, real easy to come apart. Leave all three parts uh, air dry and uh, you shouldn't have any issues. So, um, uh, also, just so while I'm here, this is my custom uh, Yeti cup. If you haven't uh, checked out their custom section on their website, definitely do it. It's really good. There's all kinds of options. So, uh, it's really cool. Uh, but just wanted to go over that, uh, that second part here on how to clean these. Like I said, there was quite a few questions people asking uh, how to clean uh, this this style mag slide or mag slider lid. So check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know. Like I said, I'll put a, uh, a link to the first video. Uh, put a description down in, in the bottom there. Uh, but uh, definitely let us know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. Uh, definitely share these uh, this video and the other one. We'd like to get that out there so uh, people don't get this uh, nasty buildup all in their bodies and stuff. So um, definitely uh, share it, like it, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do and uh, hit the uh, the little notification bell there if you'd like to be notified when we upload new content. So definitely appreciate you watching and uh, have a good day.